Yes. Grandmaster, is this... Yes, Cyrus. This is the Emperor's son, Martin Septim. My lord, welcome to Cloud Ruler Temple. We have not had the honor of an Emperor's visit in many years. Ah, well, thank you. The honor is mine. Come. Your blades are waiting to greet you. Blades! Dark times are upon us. The Emperor and his sons were slain on our watch. The Empire is in chaos. But there is yet hope. Here is Martin Septim, true son of Uriel Septim. Hail, hail Dragonborn! Dragon hail, 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 Martin Septim! Septim. Hail. Hail. hail! Your Highness, the Blades are at your command. You will be safe here until you can take up your throne. Geoffrey. All of you. I know you all expect me to be Emperor. I'll do my best. But this is all new to me. I'm not used to giving speeches, but... I, I wanted you to know that I appreciate your welcome here. I hope I prove myself worthy of your loyalty in the coming days. That's it. Thank you. Well then, thank you, Martin. We'd all best get back to our duties, eh, Captain? Good evening, Mom. Not much of a speech, was it? Didn't seem to bother them, though. The blade saluting me and hailing me as Martin Septim. I don't mean to sound ungrateful. I know I would be dead by now if it weren't for you. Thank you. But everyone expects me to suddenly know what to do, how to behave. They want an emperor to tell them what to do. And I haven't the faintest idea. Of course, the Amulet of Kings, so we, I, can take it to the Temple of the One and light the dragon fires, and stop the Oblivion invasion. The Emperor? <laughs> That's an idea that will take some getting used to. In any case, we need the Amulet first. Maybe Joffrey will know where to start. All practitioners of Daedric magic are familiar with the almost impenetrable barrier between our world and Oblivion. What the Emperor told you implies that the amulet is the key to the preservation of what I saw at Kavach. Yet those gates to Oblivion existed. If the amulet is truly... I haven't always been a... I know more than I want to about the seductive power of Daedric magic. Something has changed. Joffrey believes that the death of the Emperor and the darkening of the Dragonfires is the key. Don't worry about me, my friend. I know I'm in good hands here. You have proven yourself a loyal servant of the Empire, as worthy as any of the Blades to stand by Martin's side during this crisis. As the Grand Master of the Blades, I would be honored to accept you into our order. Will you join us? The blades are sworn to the... Very well. Many serve the Empire in their own way. But we would be honored to have you if you change your mind. You're right. We must try to recover the amulet before the enemy takes it out of our reach. You should go back to the Imperial City. Boris may have learned something about the assassins. You'll find Boris at Luther Broad's boarding house in the Elven Gardens district of the Imperial City. The Amulet of Kings is the key to everything now. Once we have it back, Martin can use it to light the dragonfires in the Temple of the One and reseal the barriers between Oblivion and our world. This place was built by Raymond Cyrodiil Zakaviri Dragon Guard at the founding of the Second Empire. Since then, it has served the Blades as headquarters, fortress and sanctuary. 
We can protect Martin here until you recover the Amulet of Kings. Give my warm regards to Boris. Tell him he should not blame himself for the Emperor's death. He did well to send you to me. Good evening, ma'am. Hail. Do you have a moment? There's something we need to discuss. Please speak for Good evening, Mom. The plane of oblivion. We know so little about it. What if the Daedra we've seen are only the beginning? I think we should prepare for the worst. There is much wisdom in your words, my friend. Have you discussed this with the others? You know that no matter what happens, no matter what fate befalls us, together we honor the memory of Uriel Septim. It's pretty clear, isn't it? We failed once. We must not fail again. But let us discuss this no more. Come what may, the blades will here. stand ready. Have you been to talk to Boris in the Imperial may City? May Uriel's yet? spirit guide us in these troubled times. Good evening, ma'am. Good evening, ma'am.
Hear me! Can oh. I can eat for a day. It's unbelievable. He's a fairy tale. Of course. He's a fairy Sure. I heard that... That lay about... Thank you. Blessings of a new upon. So, another one who has come to listen to the madman's rantings. This is only the beginning. Umaril has returned, as foretold by Pelinal Whitestrake, in his dying breath. Umaril the Unfathered! The Sorcerer King of the Aliens, who ruled over this land for long ages before the rise of men. He was cast down by Pelinal Whitestrake, but Umaru's spirit survived, and now he has returned to seek vengeance upon the gods. Does no one remember the old tales? Saint Pelinal, the divine crusader of legend, Alicia's companion when she overthrew the rule of the Aliens 3,000 years ago. Pelinal, with the aid of the gods, fought the alien sorcerer King Umaril and slew him! But... Umaru's spirit survived, and he has now returned. Do you understand nothing? The blood speaks. I can read the ancient runes if you cannot. As Uibala Umarale Elnada Rakuva. In the alien tongue. By the eternal power of Umaril, the mortal gods shall be cast down. A curse upon Umaril's ancient foes and a threat. Alas, Umaril cannot be stopped. Not without the aid of the gods, not without the Crusader's relics. Without a champion, the gods are powerless to act. But who among us is worthy to wield the divine crusader's weaponry? You would quest for the holy panoply of Pelinal Whitestrake? The legendary relics that have been sought by mighty warriors throughout the ages? Are you a worthy knight? Well then, hail, hero of Kavach! Let me add one more voice to the never-ending chorus of praise. I'm sure one of your many devotees will be able to guide you on your way to find the Crusader's relics. The weapons and armor of Pelinal Whitestrake, Alicia's comrade granted to him by the eight divines. He went alone into the White Gold Tower, challenged the alien sorcerer King Umeril to single combat, and slew him! Alas, Umeril was not truly slain, but only cast beyond the bounds of Nern. And now, he has returned to wreak his vengeance upon the gods, as was prophesied by Pelinal himself with his dying breath. Only a true knight will... But alas for Tamriel, the Crusader's relics have been lost for many an age. Who now can succeed in the quest for the relic? Are you? A humble heart is a good... 
The gods grant insight to those they deem worthy. Why and how they act is not predictable. What I can tell you is that, <clears throat> traditionally, knights who wish to quest for the relics would walk the Pilgrim's Way. Travel to the Way Shrines of the Nine Divines. Pray to each of the gods in turn and ask their favor upon your quest. If the gods deem you worthy, you will be granted a sign. Go forth with the Nine's blessings. Walking the Pilgrim's Way is the traditional start of a holy quest. Follow the map I... He was defeated but not destroyed by Helenol the Crusader. Now he has returned to seek vengeance against the gods. Only a true knight, welding the holy relics of the divine Crusader, May the Eight and One guide your steps. Look well upon this chapel of Debella! Look at the face of... This of the dead! This is... It's all over, lawbreaker. Your sp... That's too bad. Okay, here's the... How goes it? What? He's a most mysterious. Take care. Greetings to you. I am Melona Umbranox Ka You can best know Anvil by walking its streets and speaking with its people. My favorite time is Chancellor Okato has performed He's a blessing on this town. He preaches every day. I have not read the works of Mrs. Otis. I'm told some find I have not Take care. Get this over with. I'm just How warming up, to you pathetic worm! I'm Darahill, steward of Castle... 
Countess deserves all the credit. I swear that when I pass... Goodbye. Daryl Morvane. Been here thirty years, and I expect our a terrible crime. I don't know where he The shipmaster, Heinrich Oakenhull, has a wood elf for a Can't go into battle with broken equipment. Have a look around. You won't find better prices in all Tamriel. That's more than I'd usually pay. A good, a good price for a good customer. A fine transaction. You got a great deal there. Thank you. Come. Goodbye. <laughs> 